so the next part of the discussion is that is the chapter which we are going to discuss is that is periodic table also we call it as periodic classification if you go to the periodic table what are the important points where we could uh, classify actually if you go for a periodic table if you are going for a periodic table this periodic table is broadly classified into that is uh, periods and it is also classified into that is groups classified into groups groups are called columns these groups we call it as columns groups are columns and periods are rows all rows so here we have uh, seven periods periods are seven and groups are 18 18 vertical columns seven horizontal rows so when you go for uh, if you particularly if you go for seven periods in the seven periods we, what we can say is first first one is shortest shortest with only two elements hydrogen and uh, that is helium second if you take uh, second second is a short period which we have the short period which we have the eight elements total we have eight elements here we have only two elements here we have eight elements starting with the lithium and it ends with the that is neon third again short period short period here it starts with the hydrogen lithium sodium starts with sodium and ends with argon fourth long potassium it ends with krypton fifth again long hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium starts with rubidium and it ends with xenon sixth is the longest hydrogen lithium sodium hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium and that is cesium and here neon argon krypton xenon and this is radon longest period and of course seventh is incomplete incomplete and uh, because it is incomplete hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and last one is francium it's an incomplete period all this comes under the groups all this comes under the periods uh, you find that the first period is shortest second and third are short second and third second and third are short periods fourth and fifth are long periods and sixth is the longest period and seventh is the incomplete period which we have to notice and you are finding that every period every period in a period in a period the starting element starting element they belong to alkali metals bending elements belong to belongs to noble gases belongs to noble gases 
ending elements belongs to noble gases you can notice that because this is helium neon argon krypton next one is xenon and uh, radon you can notice that every period is ending with a noble gas and it is starting with a alkali metal so if you go for groups there are total 18 groups are there in this 18 groups you can find that uh, they, these groups are again uh, let me say they are classified into blocks groups are classified into blocks blocks are classified into four subtypes as block as block elements p block elements d block and also f block elements again s and p block s block and p block together we call them as representative representative we call them as representative elements d and f block d block elements are otherwise called transition elements are called transition elements and f block elements are inner transition elements and uh, d block are d block elements are called uh, transition elements and f block elements are called inner transition elements if you go for s block again this representative elements if you go for this representative elements particularly in this s block you have 1a alkali metals and 2a alkaline alkaline earth metals alkaline earth metals alkaline earth metals likewise if you go for p block if you go, if you are going for a p block then you finding that p block is made up of 13th group 13th group uh, also they are made up of 13th group 14th group also made up of 15th 